Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So tonight me and Lawrence are heading to the Lowry for the press night of Titanic the Musical. Now I've never seen this show before so I'm really excited. I love seeing new musicals and it's great that Lawrence is coming with me as well. So today we are sat in the stalls. I can't remember what row we're on but we're at a, around the side view. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it. Obviously I'll show you around the theatre. I'll show you any merch if they've got any. I'm not sure if they have any merch for this show. But if they do, I'll show you the merch. And then obviously me and Lawrence will review it for you once we get home. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little vlog. <laughs> We've just arrived now uh, at Lowry, just here, as usual, we're going to walk across the bridge and then we're going to head in. Uh, I think there is actually merch for this, so just checked and there should be some merch, so hopefully I'll be able to show you what merch they've got. And then show you where that, here's Lawrence, are you glad to be with me today? I'm interested to see this one, I like, I'm interested in Titanic. Yeah, and it's a musical, Lawrence loves musical, so it should be a good night, so I'll get back to you now once we're inside. We still need to buy boards to put all these magnets on, but they're all just in a bag, aren't they? Yeah. So, yeah. So, just waiting around now for the auditorium to open. I don't think it's open. Oh, it might be open actually. I think it is open. Well, so, yeah, we might head into the auditorium because I think it is open. So here are our tickets, so we're on row M, seat 6 and 7, and we need to head into door J. Okay, so we're just heading into the auditorium now, we're on row M, seat 6 and 7. <laughs> So we are now in our seats, we're on row M, seat 6 and 7 and really comfortable, good view, there's a little bit of a side on view but it's a good view isn't it? No, pretty good. Yeah, so I'll show you the view now. There we go, so this is our view from our seat, like I said row M, I'm in seat 7, Let's zoom in a bit. So you can see it's what it looks like the deck of a ship and it's got like a desk in the centre. So. so I think it's going to start in what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? 10 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. 
so we'll get back to you in the interval. It's not like the normal like big songs out there and then seeing it's um, very story driven with the songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the songs fit in well with the story don't they? Yeah. yeah, we're really enjoying it, looking forward to the second half. I should tell you more about it when we get home.
So the show has finished now. Both really enjoyed it, didn't we? Yep. It was really, really good. good. So obviously we'll, we'll talk more about it when we get home. But yeah, we really enjoyed it. Hi, so I'm now back from the show and just want to tell you a little bit about it. So we went to the press night for Titanic the Musical at the Lowry. It was on on Tuesday the 4th of July and it started at half seven. We were in the stalls for the show, we were sat on row M seat seven and eight and our view from those seats were excellent. It is a side on view but it's not too bad. Um, I thought our view was really, really good. You can see what our view was like from the video and um, I thought it was really good. And I'd definitely sit there again. Um, like I've said previously, the Lowry is such a good theatre that you get good sight lines from almost wherever you sit in that theatre. Obviously, because it's a modern theatre, they've built it really well. So very few seats in there you get a bad view so the show did have some merch i wasn't sure if they, they would have but they did have merch so they had magnets mugs key rings a uh, t-shirt a tote bag and i think that was it but i did film it all what some of the merch they had i did purchase a magnet and that was five pounds and it's a 10th anniversary tour, so it says 10th anniversary on the magnets. That was just £5. And then, obviously, I got a programme, but um, I was gifted this programme as I was there to review the show. But I think these are usually £6. And I will show you that programme later. Um, but, yeah, the show was really good. It was much better than I thought. I didn't really know what to expect, because every time it's toured, I've always missed this musical. There's always been something else I'd rather see. Um, but I'm so glad I finally got to see it. And it was much better than I thought it was going to be. The songs were actually really good. Um, it's not an album I'd go out and buy and listen to, but the songs worked really well for the show. And I think my favourite song from it was um, Godspeed Titanic. I really enjoyed that one. It's one the whole cast sing. It just sounds really powerful with a whole cast singing it. Uh, they also reprise that at the end as well, which I thought was really good. So if you don't know much about Titanic the musical, it has a book by Peter Stone and uh, music and lyrics by Maury Easton. I think that's how you pronounce the name. And basically it tells the story of several different characters and all the characters that... Um, they tell stories about what actual real uh, people that actually boarded the Titanic. So they're based on real people, which makes it more much more powerful story because you know these people were real and actually were on the Titanic. So it tells you story of some of the first class travellers, second class travellers, and the third class travellers. And it's really nice to see the stories of all these different. Um, class of people and how um, how it affected them and stuff so it was it was nice um, to just find out it was nice to see stories of so many different characters so the set for this show was quite simple it was basically looked like the deck of a ship uh, with two floors um, I didn't really change very much they brought, brought on the odd prop um, but it didn't change that much um, and it was quite simple probably because they didn't have to tour it. One thing that I did wish they did a little bit better was at the end where they were getting into the lifeboats. They basically just jumped into invisible lifeboats. They just jumped um, on the stage. So it would have been nicer if they had actual lifeboats or some kind of boat for them to jump into. I think I would have preferred that better because at first I wasn't sure what was happening but they were jumping and throwing people onto apparently invisible lifeboats and um, that's the only criticism I really have otherwise the set worked pretty well for the show. Costumes were excellent, I loved all the costumes, I thought the costuming was really good in this. Um, you could definitely see the difference in class in the costuming and I just thought it was really good. Uh, lighting was also very good. The lighting went really well for the show. And I think I've already mentioned the songs. Like I said, the songs weren't that catchy. It's not something I'd go out and want to buy the soundtrack for. But the songs worked really well in the context of the musical. Um, and like I said, um, Godspeed Titanic 
was definitely the best song in there. Uh, it involves the whole cast and when they're all singing together it just sounds like a really powerful song. So I really enjoyed that one. Cast wise they were all excellent. I can't really pick out a standout performer. Um, excellent voices. This cast had so many wonderful voices in this. The, the singing in this was just excellent. Absolutely amazing. It was one of the best things about it I think was that the quality of the singing was so good and Laura's Knight really really enjoyed the show so I'll just quickly sh um, show you the program okay so this is the program you see it says here it's on from the 4th of July to the 8th of July at Lowry and inside we have some adverts for some upcoming shows for Lowry so you've got Romeo and Juliet Message in a Bottle Metamorphosis, Life of Pi, and The Greatest Women That Changed the World. Great Women That Changed the World, I should say. Crown Jewels. You got a um, advert for Pier 8, which is the restaurant that's inside the Lowry. And then you've got your information on Titanic. So, first thing you have here is a little article it says a beautiful star light night and this is just some information on the titanic titanic the tragedy unfolds so this is the timeline of the titanic Titanic program notes, a little article there, and then you have your musical numbers. So in Act One, you've got In Every Age, Opening, Godspeed Titanic, Barrette Song, What a Marvel Age This Is, To Be a Captain, Ladies Maid, I Give You My Hand. The proposal slash the night was alive. Doing the latest rag. I have danced. No moon number one. Autumn. No moon number two. And then in Act Two, we have Wake Up, Wake Up. Dress in your pajamas in the Grand Salon. The blame to the lifeboats. We'll meet tomorrow to be a captain still. Mr. Andrew's vision, the foundering final, got and Godspeed Titanic reprise. And then you've got some production photos here. This gives you a better idea of the costuming in the show. As I said, the costumes are really, really good in this. I always love a programme when they have some production shots in it. And then here's your main page here with all your information on. So here we have the cast. Understudies. Creative team. And your production team. Also the band. And then in the middle here it says... The show runs for 2 hours and 40 minutes, including one 20 minute interval. It says that the first performance of this production was at Southwark Playhouse on the 31st of July 2013. And then you have your cast biographies. So I'm just going to quickly go through these because it's, it's quite a big cast. I think it's more over 20 cast members in this show. 20, 25 cast members. Playing J. Bruce Ismay was Martin Alanson. Playing Ida Strauss was Valda Avix. Playing Captain Edward Smith was Graham Bickley. Playing Frederick Fleet was Sam Brown. Ed 
Bean was played by James Darch. Isadore Strauss was played by David Delve. Frederick Barrett was played by Adam Philippe. Kate Murphy was played by Emily George. Andrew Latimer was played by Luke Harley. Lady Caroline Neville slash, was, slash dance captain was Emma Harold. Harold Bride was played by Alistair Hill. The Maid was played by Abby Hudson. Herbert Pittman slash Henry Etches was played by Barnaby Hughes. Joseph Boxall was played by Paul Kemble. Kate Mullins was played by Neve Long. Charles Clark was played by Matthew MacDonald. Thomas Andrews was played by Ian McLaren. Joseph Bell was played by Danny Michaels. Head Maid was played by Janet Mooney. Jim Farrell was played by Chris Nevin. Charles Laytoller was played by Jack North. Bell Boy slash Wallace Hartley was played by Joseph Peacock. William McMaster Murdoch was played by Billy Roberts. Alice Bean was played by Bree Smith and Kate McGowan was played by Lucy May Summer. And that is your cast. Now you've got your creative team. And then you've got your production credit. And then you just get some more adverts. And that is your programme. And it's a nice um, programme. It's good quality. It's good information in there. Because sometimes you get really poor ones. But this has got some nice articles. The pages are really thick. So it's, it's a really good quality programme. These ones are much better than the ones you get from the Palace and Opera House. However, the Palace and Opera House ones have improved slightly from the ones that they had at the beginning of the year but still not as good as the Lowry's. Um, these are 50 pence more uh, but I think it's worth it because the quality is much better. So Lawrence what did you think of it? I thought it was a really good story, really good scene. The cast was all great, great voices, did good performance. The set, production, all pretty good quality. I was quite impressed by all of it. Story wasn't what I was thinking they would they how they would do it, so better than I expected. More I think how they spread the characters around. You follow different characters. So it wasn't like a main character or set two main characters, it was like sec hubbles, they were your form hubbles, your form first class, second class and third class people from different, the three different classes at that time and that decade was, they did that really well. And did the story of the ca captain, then you have the art, the owner, then you have the art tech, of those three dynamics, oh, pretty impressive it was. I enjoyed it, like emotionally they fitted right, they did with uh, tell the story the right way and they kind of did a kind of sold it of saying showing how the people life that was there was affected by it. It was pretty good that I was. Okay, so in summary, Lawrence and I really enjoyed this musical. It was very moving, a very full powerful story. Um the way they finish it at the end, uh they have a big um 
sort of screen that comes down and it has the names of all the people that were lost on the Titanic um, which was quite um, quite moving it's quite powerful seeing all those names uh, it's just a nice way to end the musical and remember the people that were lost and that it is a true story and a tragic one um, but like I said the musical was very enjoyable the songs were good everyone in this play the actors were absolutely amazing uh, like I said there were some amazing voices some um, really good singing in this every single person that sang a song voice was just excellent really enjoyed all the singing in this show so Laura's and I decided that we're going to give the show four stars definitely recommend it if you're able to get to Lowry definitely go and see it I'll link down below where you can get tickets for the Lowry dates I'll also link down below uh, the Titanic's official website so if you can't get to Lowry you can go on there and see where else it's touring to so I hope you have enjoyed this little video if you do enjoy theatre vlogs and reviews I do lots of them on my channel so uh, if you'd like to subscribe and see the new ones that are coming up so this week I'm also going to see Heathers I'm also going to see Alice in Wonderland which is a new musical from the Liverpool Playhouse so if you're interested to see review vlogs for those please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and be notified as soon as they go up. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.